In this remote support appointment, we connect with Frank, who lives in Queensland. He has purchased a pair of Phonak Paradise P90 rechargeable hearing aids. So far, they've just been programmed to first fitting based on manufacturer prescription to his most recent audiogram. During this appointment, we're going to retest Frank's hearing using in situ audiometry. This is where the hearing aids themselves produce the test tones and we obtain his hearing thresholds from those test tones produced by the hearing aids. It forms a type of graph we call a sensorgram or in situ gram. This can then be used to directly program his hearing aids more accurately than using the thresholds obtained under headphones in a booth. One of the reasons this is a more accurate way of programming hearing aids is that there's no coupler volume differences. The acoustic coupling volume of the hearing aid dome is identical to the coupling producing the beneficial amplification in his ears, whereas headphone tests have a much larger volume when coupled to the ear. This coupling volume difference can result in different measurements of hearing thresholds. So whereas a traditional audiogram is important for diagnosing the nature of hearing loss and identifying underlying ear health conditions that may need specialist intervention, a sensorgram on the other hand is a more accurate way of hearing aid fittings as there's no electroacoustic discrepancies. I recorded this voiceover for the video because Frank's voice could not be recorded. The result of the session was that the volume was improved. It did appear that he needed less low frequency amplification, but a little bit more high frequency amplification using the in situ gram compared to what the prescription was based on the audiogram he'd provided. So the net result was an overall improvement in sound quality as well as a slight improvement in clarity working and have a little chat to her and see what he, how he found the new settings. He described them as being quite clear and having no trouble hearing his wife, which is a very pleasing outcome. So I hope you found this video interesting. Uh, in situ audiometry works really well to obtain thresholds that can be used to directly program up hearing aids and forms a good remote form of testing hearing.